Grant has been defeated by the Dreadnoughts are still active. Destroy all of the Dreadnought captains, breach Thrall Alliance and all planets, and finally bring peace to the Atlas star system. This is post game. Being, because now we have unlimited dreadnoughts to beat. However, only one of them spawned for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why only one spawned. But essentially, this is how we're meant to grind up and get gain a ton of Nova. But that's the end of the LP. So I might as well put my new in the project. I've got a ton of time and I might as well buy, battle the the dreadnought while we're at it. So this was kind of fun. It feels weird, honestly, but it, this was really, really fun to do. I do have a few gripes, mainly on me from the game. The only thing I have the grip on the game is why is the uh I might as well show yeah this and this really powerful I don't got them as this roll the credits Ubisoft stop making them at almost an hour long it's longer than the than the main story of the game. Anyways. Uh, that, honestly, that final battle, when I first got there, I was surprised that it was a unique thing. I thought it was going to be some sort of dr gigantic dreadnought or some sort of uh, prime. Some sort of just gigantic monstrosity or something that we've already faced before. But finding out that it was a Warden Scion and it was a free face fight no matter what really got me surprised. However, as you saw, the fight's a bit of a letdown. Just not that hard when you when everything about it is so weak. Of course, of course, on hard difficulty it's probably much diff more harder. But uh, still, you see what I mean. Though does not make it an inch does not make it even less of a climactic fight. Yeah, this is it. So, what do I plan to do after this game? Uh, or then LP something else? Well, I actually don't know. I don't even know what my next Let's Play will be. By the time this comes out, I will probably have figured it out and probably already have it in the works. But, as of recording right now, I have no idea. I guess if I can add some things, you're, for the harder difficulties, you get less time to deal with these if you want to try and have them at more vulnerable points. The characters minus Le Levi, for the most part, are really interesting and I absolutely love them. Levi, uh, I don't blame the voice actor, but god damn does Levi sound just so, such a pretend, such, so pretentious.
the Star Fox DLC probably was what makes the Switch version so much more full. Because that's one thing. Everything else, even with the vigilante stuff, which does make it feel more full, it feels quite empty, honestly. And sadly, still no more shields. But yeah. Now that this is usually when you're meant to do the Crimson Moon stuff, but you can do it before. And it makes Atlas feel more safe, which feels weird, but it's the truth. But yeah, this is how you're meant to, so this is how you're really meant to quickly grind Nova, because Dreadnoughts give up 10 a pop. And since it's free spawn usually, Compared to what happened this day, apparently, because I still don't know why only one spawn, because even on my personal file, which was on my first personal file, which was on easy, all three spawns. It's not meant to just be one, I'm quite sure. However, stars are essentially the highest difficulty and special difficulty, but uh, they're not, no, not anything special. And as you see, boom. Safe once again. This is really the only time the game gets harder, so I recommend you do as much as you can. So, that's it. This is the end of this last way. So, uh... I guess this is a, oh yeah, might as well talk. This is a big change. No matter what, this is here and it goes nowhere. <laughs> yeah, even touching this does nothing. It's something I wish we could go back to that, that star, but no, we didn't. But anyways, uh, I guess this is Zeno and Azuma signing out. For, and I'll be seeing you guys in whatever the next LP will be because I don't know. Yeah, I'm a bit hysteric. Right now because I don't know what to do. Also, be lucky because no matter what, those credits definitely would have made, these, made this a fourth, fifth, and a sixth video, I'm quite sure. God. Again, Zeno and Zuma signing up for signing out. Until the next let's play. See you guys then.